I think a lot of people wish that Intel was a lot more competitive and doing better than they're doing right now. And I know that a lot of people were very excited thinking that, hey, Intel's gonna be bringing a discrete graphics card to the market, whoopee. Well, honestly, I don't see that happening and I'll let you know why. But real quick, before we jump into today's video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Zero and Nine. If you're the type of person who builds a lot of PCs or just changes the parts out inside their PC quite a bit, having an extra Windows 10 Pro key can be a lifesaver, especially if something happens and all of a sudden your registration isn't working. And right now at Zero and Nine, they have Windows 10 Pro for $16. Now this is like 84% off, but with a coupon code that we're gonna share with you, you'll be able to get the same code for $13, that's right. Windows 10 Pro for $13. We'll have a link down below where you guys can check us out on their website. And one thing that's really cool is you can buy as many keys as you want. In the current state of things, Intel is honestly struggling very much as a company. They've made a lot of mistakes over the last few years. They've gotten to markets they probably shouldn't have gotten into and didn't get into markets that they should have. Now, it seems like Intel wants to jump into the discrete graphics card market, but there are a few things that are really going to hold them back and probably not make it a viable thing to ever actually happen. That's right. I'm saying it now, we'll see what happens, but I don't think that Intel is actually ever going to get a discrete graphics card in the market that's going to be worth beans. For one thing, the company currently is struggling trying to get everything down to the 10 nanometer process. Now, this has been something that's now late to Intel and it's predicted that, not, you know, that it might not come out until 2019 or 2020. That very fact alone, and the fact that other video card companies, by the time that Intel rolls around to have this technology, will be way ahead of the curve. And that's just something that's gonna happen because let's just picture it. Two years from now, Intel all of a sudden gets to the 10 nanometer process. They release their video cards out to the market, and at this same time, Think about this, NVIDIA and both AMD are going to be competing this whole time. And by the time that probably Intel gets their 10 nanometer process to the market, these other companies are probably going to already have achieved that goal and have cards that are far superior, which means that even if Intel launches their video card right as it comes out of the gate, it's probably going to be defunct. That's right because with these companies that are already so far ahead and Intel barely jumping on the bandwagon, it's not gonna be that good. Plus, there are some other reasons in the background, such as deep learning and other things that Intel just doesn't have a hand on quite yet. And before they get you know, their hands on this other technology and wrap themselves around this, they're not really going to be able to compete with these other video card manufacturers whatsoever. Now, another thing is, does Intel really plan on competing in the desktop gaming market? This is a big question, and I honestly don't feel that that's really where I could see Intel going. Intel's always been a company that likes to make money in the server workstation market. That's very important to them. I'm sure they wanna really hold on to that very, very tightly. And to hold on to that very tightly means that they need to have graphics cards of their own that they can put into those systems. And that would be the smart move for me for Intel to do. What they should do is really concentrate on making like Quadro or Fire cards of their own. This would help Intel quite a bit. And I know gamers be like, oh, hey man, that kind of sucks because you know that wouldn't really help us whatsoever. But honestly, that's the market that I think Intel should go into and I believe that they will go into. I don't think that Intel is going to try to jump right off the bat and start competing with Nvidia and AMD. I think they're gonna try to shoot for the workstation server type stuff, especially embedded type graphics. If Intel can start making servers that have such great you know, built-in graphics cards in them that they're really cool, they're quiet, and they function properly, this would be a big step for Intel, especially with AMD creeping down with them with the Epic CPUs, Epic's becoming more and more popular as AMD gains ground in the server market market there, you know, Intel really needs something that will offset the, the market and actually put them back in a power place. 
But as it is right now, I really don't see Intel coming out at all with a discrete graphics card. The chips are honestly stacked up against them pretty hard. For one thing, they don't have all the technology needed in-house to make these graphics cards. For another thing, the 10 nanometer process still seems to be something that's out of Intel's reach. And even though they're working towards that goal, they still haven't met it. And in fact, even in the chipset market, I haven't really seen anything from Intel in probably the last seven years. It made me go, whoo, wow, all right, great. Every launch has just been a little bit different. And since single core performance, honestly, is probably the most important thing, getting more and more and more cores on chips is a cool thing. But if you still have slow single core performance, you're going to start lagging behind. And this is where AMD is definitely catching up with them and will probably surpass them. And in 2019, unless there's some drastic things by Intel, we're probably going to see AMD start to dominate much more of the market. And with that said, Intel being a newcomer into the graphics card market, they've released their card. For one thing, nobody even knows at this point about Intel making graphics cards right? Nobody knows. So even if Intel does come out and release some graphics cards, it would take at least probably six to eight months, possibly a year for people to go, oh, hey, yeah, uh, Intel actually makes a graphics card. And on the gamer side of things, you really have a lot to prove because gamers are the ones who pretty much push the industry these days. And if you're going to enter into that market, you better enter it with all guns blazing. You better have all of your tricks and your magic bag ready to rock and roll. Entering that market prematurely and not being ready would only kill Intel further. And with all the money R&D research that it's going to cost to get into this, I see that Intel's discrete graphics card market as being a complete failure for them at this point. Now, like I said, Maybe some things will change. Maybe we'll, Intel will pull a magic rabbit out of their hat and all of a sudden be able to do something drastic. Where we're like, oh, oh my God, this is amazing. But at this point in time, I think it really is too little, too late. If Intel wanted to be a discrete graphics card manufacturer, they should have jumped into this five or six years back, you know, and it would have been a lot better time period of them to gear up to where things are now. Because like I said, as it is now, even if Intel works full throttle and finally gets their video card here by 2020, in 2020, NVIDIA and AMD solutions are going to be so much probably farther ahead that it's just going to be a moot point for Intel right off the bat, which is why I say that they would probably enter their server market and doing stuff like that first. I don't know this for sure, but I could definitely see Intel doing that. Like usual, I always want to hear what you guys have to say to the audience because everybody has different opinions, different insights, and stuff like that. And I love getting the conversation with you guys down below. By the way, just to let you guys know, we have started our Patreon site. So for you folks who like to support the site, you can do that. Also, buying anything from our Amazon affiliate links, that really helps the site quite a bit. Plus, if you guys would do me a great courtesy of liking and sharing this video, that would mean a lot to me very much. So this is my take on what's going on, man. Intel, discrete graphics cards, like I said, it is too little, it is too late. But hey, who knows, maybe Intel will put some magic back in the game.